Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be about January's books <laughs> that I purchased. Today's video is all the books I purchased in January. Um, I think there's probably more, but I figured the, the uh, video may be a little too long if I <laughs> talked about all of them. I went a little bit crazy in January and I've continued that into February. <laughs> so my wonderful husband has given me a little bit of a book allowance each month. So I'm enjoying it. I'm having a lot of fun reading tons. It's bringing me so much joy. And since it is a new found or rediscovered, newly rediscovered passion, um, he's kind of letting me just kind of run with it. So I'm excited and I'm going to show you guys what I purchased or some of the books that I purchased in January. Okay, so this is not going to be um, where I'm talking a lot about the books that I did read and giving review. I'm just going to show you kind of a haul, a book haul, but I will let you know which ones I have read so far and which ones I have not read. Um, there is not actually a lot that I have read in this stack because I will, oh, I'm missing one. I'll grab it in a sec, but I've showed it in a lot of vlogs. So uh, the reason for that is one of the books is over a thousand pages. And so I have been working a lot on reading that book, but let me jump right into the ones that I have read first. All right, you guys. So first things first, I started this book in December. Um, so it's technically doesn't belong in this video, but I'm going to talk about it anyway because I finished this book in January. This is Jane Eyre. I absolutely adored this book. I did not think that I was going to like it as much as I did. Um, I read it. I loved it. It's a classic. Um, it's by Charlotte Bronte. I would highly recommend it. If you have never read um, a classic, this is probably a good place to start. I just love the language. I thought it was very um, character driven. Um, I just loved it. I love the character of Jane Eyre and I loved all of um, just the way she thought and um, I don't know. I just absolutely loved it. I don't want to get into details about these books because then this video is going to go on and on and on. But okay, lots of interruptions today. This is why I have trouble doing sit down videos. <laughs> lots of kids, lots of interruptions. but. It is what it is. So anyway, I read this book. I loved it. Highly recommend it. Five stars for sure. Okay, the next set of books that I read in January, I read all three of these in January. Absolutely loved them. This is the um, Caraval series. It's a fantasy series. It's a young adult fantasy. The second one is titled legendary and the third one is finale i did not think i was going to care for this series very much after the first book um i rated this three stars i felt like it was the writing was a little annoying to me um there was quite a bit of i don't know overuse of similes <laughs> that really annoyed me um but anyway i felt like in my personal opinion that the plot really deepened and intensified in the second book and also in the third book i was kind of gripped and the main reason that i continued the series after the first book was because i was just curious to see where it was going to go um and i was actually glad that i did so it was a pretty oops it was a pretty interesting read um i enjoyed it and um, so I would probably recommend the series if you're looking to get into something uh, fantasy. It's a good place to start maybe. Young adult, it's an easy read. So I read all three of those. Um, I also read in January the majority of Peter Pan. I did not finish it in January. I ended up finishing this this month in February. But this is a classic Peter Pan story. I... I didn't love it. <laughs> I read this because one of the booktubers that I watch a lot absolutely raves about this book and so I thought I would give it a try. I am not well read in children's classics and so I, I wasn't really sure what I was getting myself into. This book was boring to me and I struggled the entire way. I did not enjoy the nonsensical aspect of it. Did not really enjoy the darkness of the plot. I felt Peter Pan, Tinkerbell, Hook, all of them were a little just annoying and yeah, I didn't love it. <laughs> so 
I gave this one star on Goodreads, but I did read it, and so it's in this video. Okay, so moving on. Um, I read, I don't have the book in front of me, but it is part of the um, Stormlight Archive, Brandon Sanderson. I read about 500 pages in The Way of Kings in January. I don't have that here. I may include it at the end of the video, but I just don't want to go grab it right now, but I did uh, read a lot in that book. Absolutely loving it. It's a little bit of a disorienting, I don't know, epic fantasy to kind of dive into. It takes, it took me a little bit to get my bearings. There's a lot of different perspectives, but so far I'm loving it. So if you haven't checked that out, you may want to, if you're looking for an epic fantasy tome <laughs> to jump into. All right. The next book that I purchased in January is Matt Haig's The Midnight Library. I have not started this. I read the first couple of pages. I kind of felt like it was going to be a bit heavy. Um, I believe the premise is that this girl is contemplating suicide. She goes into this library and she's able to kind of see what her life would be with different choices uh, if she were to make different choices. So I, just because I'm not in a place to read something super heavy, I put this one down for now. I don't know if it's going to continue to be super heavy, but I did not want to weigh down my emotions <laughs> any more than life is weighing me down as it is. So we have been going through a little bit of a stressful situation with one of my children. So I have this, I'm going to read it at some point, but that I did pick that one up this month or last month in January. I also picked up The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. I know this is uh, well known in the book community and well loved. I think it is also a fantasy and I'm really excited to read it. Um, yeah, I'm just all about the fantasy these days and it's uh, maybe a little bit of escapism, but y'all, I mean, who could blame me, right? <laughs> this, the whole like 2020, 2021 stuff, we all need a little bit of escapism. So I picked up Night Circus. All right. I also have the duology um, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo and Crooked Kingdom. These are also well known in the book community. So I got these. Um, this is kind of a heist story. Um, so I'm looking forward to diving into that as well. And um, let's see, because of my love for Jane Eyre, I decided to pick up Wuthering Heights. This was written by her sister, Emily Bronte, and is also a classic. So I'm going to hopefully dig into that at some point soon. I picked up Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. And of course, who hasn't heard of Little Women? So I'm excited to try this. I have never read it. <laughs> so there's so many, you guys. I've been raising kids and doing other things like being a nurse and all kinds of things for so many years that I have neglected reading. But I have, like I said, rediscovered my passion. So here we are. I also bought this absolutely stunning edition of Pride and Prejudice. And y'all, I mean, look at that. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely stunning. And I am so excited to read it. So I'm going to be reading Pride and Prejudice pretty soon. I also am saving these for middle grade March. If you guys are interested in middle grade March, it is um, put on by three different people. They are on Instagram, also on YouTube. I'll try to link their channels in the description box below. So if you're interested to dive in with everyone, um, there is a book that I picked up for middle grade March that is the group read. It's called The Brave, I believe. And I'm excited to read that with everyone. And that is not a part of this video because this is January's books, but I've been saving these middle grade books for middle grade March. This is the um, Trials of Morgan, Morgan Crow series. Um, this is a trilogy, I believe. I don't think they're go it's gonna continue. It may continue, but so far three books. So there is Nevermore, there is Wondersmith, and there is Hollow Pox. And I've heard nothing but amazing things about these books. I've heard that they are even better than Harry Potter. So we'll see. Hopefully this um, will be a fun time. We'll see. But I'm saving those for March. Um, the last couple of books that I have here are, this is 
The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie. I've heard a lot about this. This is the um, First Law Trilogy. Okay, you guys, I had to switch out the battery pack, so sorry about that, but I was talking about The Blade Itself, which is the first book in Joe Abercrombie's um, First Law Trilogy, and I am looking forward to getting into this. Um, I have heard really great things. I have zero idea of what to expect. I think it might be a little intense. I have no idea if this is clean. I'm just seeing like a bad word in here. And so I kind of hate to be <laughs> recommending it, but um, I really hate profanity in books. But anyway, um, I know nothing about it. I picked it up. I made that mistake. Um, I purchased, what did I purchased? Crescent City by Sarah J. Mass. I read the first page and there was like five different cuss words on the front first page and one of them was taking the Lord's name in vain which I have no tolerance for so I returned that one so if any of these books <laughs> I don't know like for the most part I know that most of them are pretty clean um but this one I don't know about so <laughs> anyway I did buy it <laughs> so we'll see um and then there was one more the last one that I picked up because of so much hype in the book community. Um, this is another Sarah J. Mass, uh, A Court of Thorns and Roses. This is a collector's edition. I purchased this because this is the only one that the bookstore had um, at the time. So I was like, well, I really hope I like this book because I just bought a really nice edition <laughs> of this book. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Um, I've heard good things about this series, so I am going to give it a try. We'll see. It is a fantasy series. Um, I don't know much more than that, but we'll see. Hopefully, I like it. I really don't like to read a whole lot about the books before I start them. I like to go into books like completely blind <laughs> and just be excited whenever I read them and kind of discovering everything like you know, from a place of complete ignorance. So I love that. But yeah, so this is the last book that I bought in January. And that basically wraps up my January book haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the books that I purchased. I have bought more books <laughs> in February. We're halfway through February. And so at the end of February, I hope to do like a February wrap up and talk about the books I read, give more proper book reviews and, um, yeah. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to let me know down below and I will see you again very soon. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're new here and the bell for notifications and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.